If you've ever played Amazing Cultivation Simulator, you know that getting a good golden core is one of the big challenges of the early game. Maybe you've looked up a guide, you've asked on Discord, or you even read the guide I wrote. And you may or may not have heard of something called a manual key burst, which can increase your golden core score by up to 20,000 points if you do it in the right situation. So here's how to do it. Manual key burst is a method to increase the gathered key on a cushion during golden core breakthrough. It works by zeroing the squares surrounding the cushion while leaving the cushion untouched, increasing the gathered key at the cushion by a medium amount. It's technically an exploit, but it's been left in for dozens of patches and is a very commonly used trick by advanced players. I'm going to talk about the most recently developed method called the tic-tac-toe method. There is an old method you may have seen using display stands and a wall. However, it's a little bit more complicated to perform. If done right, no matter which method you use, the effect is the same regardless of how you set it up. Set up your room like this. It's a normal cultivation room. You have a spirit wood diamond, an inner diamond made up of the elements that support the law. Then, at these exact locations, drop and ban an additional piece of spirit wood. You can use a cultivator or an even an outer disciple to equip and carry the spirit wood into the room. They always drop directly south of themselves. Or you can set up displays that will drop into the square directly south of each display, like this. Once you have the spirit wood set up and banned, you want to wait the normal five days for the room to finish gathering key. When the conditions are right, start your golden core breakthrough. You will want to place a tic-tac-toe board that is tic-tac-toe from the leisure menu in the build menu, and you place it on each of the band spirit woods, one per hour in a clockwise direction until you've placed it on all four. Again, you place it on the top one at first, then one hour later, the right one, one hour later, the bottom one, one hour later, the left one. Do you see how the spirit wood jumps in place when you place the tic-tac-toe? This is equivalent to picking it up and putting it down again. This little jump resets a 7x7 seven seven square surrounding the spirit wood to zero key. You can see that it's become zero key looking in the bottom right with the more tile info mod. Now, once you've done all four, look at the cushion. With the more tile info mod, you can see that the key gathered at the cushion increased. That's all you have to do. After the breakthrough is over, you can destroy your tic-tac-toe boards and let the room reset again for five days and it will be ready for cultivation once again. That's the basic manual key burst. There can be different setups depending on the range of materials you have. If you have a very advanced setup, you may need range five or even bigger range materials on the outside four squares. You may have also heard of something called infinite key burst. Uh, this is a save exploit to continue using the key burst an infinite number of times. I won't be going over it in this guide. Just know that it involves saving and loading every time the key burst is about to end. For the cultivation room setup, if you haven't seen this kind of cultivation room setup before, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post more guides. There will be a cultivation room guide coming soon.